Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. If you're doing any sort of research on the sports fan market or sports facilities or sports participation or sporting goods purchases, SBRNet is a great resource to find that kind of information. This video shows you the basics of using SBRNet and shows you how, what kinds of information you might find there and how it might help your research. So here you go. Typically when I first arrived at SBRNet, what I usually do is look for right here in the center the sports that I'm interested in. So for example, I'm going to use basketball uh, for my example here. So I'm going to click on basketball. And so we have all kinds of information kind of organized by topic in here. So for example, if you want information as far as consumer expenditures on basketballs, uh, this is information compiled by the, by, mostly by the National Sporting Goods Association. And it'll give you all kinds of information as far as how many, um, uh, the dollar amount of balls uh, purchased by year, uh, uh, the age uh, demographics of who's buying uh, those um, uh, basketballs, educational level, uh, by gender, uh, geographic region, all that kind of good stuff. So really a whole lot of data just on who uh, buys basketballs. Uh, if we look at things like sports participation, uh, give you ideas as far as who's participating in um, basketball in general. And so here it gives you uh, uh, age groups, so people who uh, participate. So you might use this if you're looking to set up a, a youth league or an adult league in a particular location uh, to get an idea as far as what percentage of the population plays basketball by age level, uh, things like that. So all kinds of really good information uh, that you can get, and they divide it by gender as well. Uh, going further down the page there. So all kinds of good for demographic information as far as who plays the game of basketball. If we go down some more, uh, you'll see that there are different fan markets for um, different areas. So if you just want a basic uh, market summary of the NFL or the NBA, excuse me, um, fan market will give you uh, participation, um, uh, who attends, uh, how frequently they do. Um, you'll notice that some of these have NAs in here. This is just years that data was not collected. So you you kind of have to use the data that it's available there. Uh, you get income group, um, all that kind of good stuff for uh, um, people who attend uh, basketball games. You also find other information such as sports apparel logo purchases, team by team attendance, uh, all that kind of good stuff. So lots of really nice uh, information there for uh, by by team there. Um, you also over here on the right hand side have facilities reports. So if we were looking for pro facil facilities reports and we're looking for like say for example the Atlanta Hawks, you can go in and type that in, do a search and I want to change this to uh, 2010 to 2011. Do a search there and so this brings up uh, the Atlanta Hawks reports, which basically gives you a little bit about the venue, naming rights, ticket prices, how much luxury suites cost, things like that. So all kinds of good information uh, that you can find there for uh, for uh, the, the sports facility or the venue. You'll also notice that for a lot of these categories, a lot of these are listed across the top there, so you can get to them that way as well. So all kinds of ways to use uh, SBRNet, and this is just a simple uh, basic tutorial on how to get around it. So it's a great tool for looking for things like uh, sports participation, you know, who buys uh, uh, sporting goods, uh, marketing information for specific uh, professional sporting teams, things like that. So a great resource for that kind of research. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of using the SBR net. Uh, if you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care.